डीमिलिटराइज जोन ऑल्सो नोन एज डीएमजी जोन वाई इज डीएमजी सो इम्पोर्टेंट फ्रॉम अ सिक्योरिटी स्टैंड पॉइंट एंड वट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ यूजिंग डीएमजी इन योर नेटवर्क दिस इज वॉट वी विल बी स्टडिंग टूडे गाइज सो डीएमजी वेन आई टॉक अबाउट डीएमजी जस्ट थिंक अबाउट रिसोर्सिस like servers like applications which need to be accessed from the internet just think of it like that so what is dmz it provides a level of network segmentation guys that helps protect the internal networks how by adding a layer on top of the internal network so that uh, remote access is restrict- restricted and attackers cannot you know uh, find their way inside the internal network so what dmz does is as you can see in the diagram you know whenever you have any business applications like in this way in this case we have a public uh, web server we have a public uh, mail server so in this case whenever you have applications and servers that are exposed to the internet what do you do you co- you keep them in a dmz now how it helps is it separates them from your internal network and the dmz isolates these resources so that in case they are compromised let's say somebody has got access to your web server or the email server now they cannot find their way to the inside network because you have again a firewall okay just to make sure that the internal network is intact you have firewall number 2 so firewall number 1 will be only allowing the ports which public server the public web server or the public mail server will be needing apart from that no other ports will be allowed for the firewall number 1 as well and any public access will be granted to the dmz zone via firewall number 1 and firewall number 2 prevents any type of access to the internal network at all okay so it will deny so this is how dmz works and uh, as i said it acts as a separate protection layer you know between the public internet and the private network okay and uh, you know this is how dmz works is very important to understand from a security stand point anybody can ask you in the uh, you know interview as well what is the use of dmz number one is isolation and keeping the potential uh, you know bad guys separate from your internal network second thing is reducing the control scope like if somebody gets control to the external systems they still cannot get access to your internal resources and third thing is whenever you want to host any corporate resources on the internet for any purpose to make them available you need to have dmz guys okay now this is all that i wanted to cover in this video if you have any follow up questions in terms of dmz how it works or anything like that feel free to add in the comment section thank you so much.